Well, welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel. The renewable future right now is plagued with a significant problem of energy storage. When it comes to wind and solar, those things can generate energy for most of the day, but can't actually supply the entire market unless the demand is there, meaning there's an incredible amount of wasted energy, which enter the solution with Saluna Holdings using modular data centers. These are unique interconnection strategies to take that wasted energy and convert it into high computing power to tackle these massive multi-billion dollar industries industries from digital currency and crypto mining to site scientific research, artificial intelligence, and additional compute intensive tasks. And we recently got some major news coming out of this company on some of these projects right now with their project Dorothy, which reaches full capacity of 50 megawatts. This company hits 2.6 EHs, uh, the hash rate milestone. And just kind of getting into this, they provide this operational update is basically the parent company of Saluna Computing, a developer of green data centers for Bitcoin mining and other intensive computing applications announces today that it has brought Project Dorothy 1 fully online with a focus on sustainability and enabling more renewable energy on the grid, completing construction on Project Dorothy 1 B and de uh, deploying 50 megawatts of Bitcoin mining machines for its hosting and proprietary business. This now brings Saluna to 2.6 EH uh, under management. Now, John, the chief executive officer of Saluna Holdings, uh, commented, we've had a busy summer ramping Project Dorothy through record high temperatures. As we approach the peak wind months and cooler temperatures in Texas, we've achieved a key milestone to complete Project Dorothy 1 and bring it to its 50 megawatt capacity. We have also made great progress accelerating the development of Project uh, Dorothy 2, Project Katie, and working on operational improvements, including significant reductions in SG&A. We also begin delivering on our promise to mitigate curtailment for renewable energy uh, power projects. Taking a look at some of the corporate highlights, the flagship fully ramped. In late August, the company completed the construction and fully ramped Project Dorothy 1. The site uh, now has a full 50 megawatt of capacity energized with record-breaking uh, power usage efficiencies of 1.01. Since the beginning of the year, Saluna has racked more than 15,630 machines, more than 1.76 uh, EH installed at the site, bringing the company's total over to 2.6 EH. The platform for cash flow uh, is getting Project Dorothy to scale, and it's just in time for the cooler months in Texas, where Saluna expects seasonal high winds and power prices well below $25 a megawatt on average. Now, the first month of positive EBITDA, the company achieved its first monthly positive EBITDA, measuring uh, related on basically the gap operating earnings in July and reduced GNA by more than $1 million current year to date versus prior year to date as part of its cost optimization program. The uh, curtailment consumption ramps as Saluna has now monetized a groundbreaking 1,286 megawatts of curtailment wasted energy for its power partner at Project Dorothy, uh, which is pretty incredible. This is the equivalent to driving an electric car for more than 4.8 million miles. Crazy metrics here. And just taking a look, Saluna's proprietary data center management software continues to flawlessly manage the power uh, operations and curtailment of data centers. Saluna deployed new operational dashboards and controlled systems throughout the company. And the cash flow balance, the company expects uh, to end the quarter with a strong cash balance. It'll be really neat to see uh, what this quarter is going to look like on the uh, on the finances and the investor communication. The company completed the third AMA, and uh, it also released an updated video on Project Dorothy, which we'll leave to the link in the description below. And you can see some of the key metrics here from Project Dorothy 1A. Uh, you can also see it on Project Dorothy 1B. But we also had some updates on Project Sophie, which completed sales of decommissioned proprietary miners, totaling more than one point. 5 million in proceeds year to date. They achieved record high peak hash rates of 825 pH. They also implemented hash rates uh, optimization and thermal management programs to improve power usage efficiency. And you can see some of that here. We've also got Project Katie updates, which completed three out of the four major studies in record time and are in the process of preparing to submit uh, the project to the a uh, ERCOT planning process. The PPA uh, definitive agreements were uh, drafted by the IP the RFP launched the Retail Electric Partners and the RFP launched 
the equipment partners. Uh, very intriguing stuff on all of their projects here. Now, this is probably one of the most intriguing underground solutions no one's really heard of when it comes to solving the renewable energy problem with all this wasted energy because, you, yeah, you can build obviously massive um, you know, energy storage facilities with batteries, but it's more efficient just to find a way to utilize that data. And when you look at the wasted energy, the cost, the cooling that comes into, into traditional cloud computing uh, and just data centers, this solution seems much more efficient and much more intriguing, especially when you take a look at how modular this system is. And we're going to see this probably continue to ramp up as all these big utility and energy companies focused on the renewable future need to find a way to fully utilize, obviously, wind and solar power. But I will pass the question off to you. I'd love to know what you think in that comment section below.